Well, I'm not going to take credit for giving it to you because when it goes back and the temperatures drop tonight, I do not want people blaming me for the cold that is coming in, but it is coming. First, let's talk about our current temperatures. Already we've set and broken, well, I should say tied and broken records across the tri-state area with these numbers. Uh, you can see we're at 74 for Newton, Teneflies at 78, Stanford, a record-breaking 79 degrees, 76 for Central Park, not a record, uh, Spring Lake at 78, same for Spionk. So 77, we've bumped up our forecast high for today to 77 degrees in New York City. Um, if we hit that, it'll put us a full 20 degrees above normal, only one degree shy of the record. I mean, we do have some record temps around the area, but we talked about that a little bit earlier. Some records have been tied. Some have already been set, but we will watch a significant cool down tonight. We have another cold front that'll push through the area. High pressure builds in behind it, but this area of high pressure will be just drawing down this really cold air from Canada. So what we'll see starting tomorrow, temperatures 15 to 20 degrees cooler. Highs will be in the 50s. That's where we should be, but still it'll be a bit of a shock considering uh, this warm stretch we're coming off of. We'll also see overnight temperatures in the 40s, but even some 20s and 30s. So prepare for some very cold air to move in tonight, even colder tomorrow night. Uh, it will be warm and sunny again. It's just a beautiful afternoon. Honestly, if you have even just errands to run, today's a good day to do it uh, because it is so pleasant to be outside. Tomorrow, still sunny, a really pretty looking day for Election Day, but much cooler. 58 degrees, the forecast high for tomorrow. So prepare for a nearly 20 degree drop in temperatures. Um, that's what we will experience tomorrow afternoon and then colder still for Wednesday, just 55 degrees. Now, a couple things happen on Friday. You see that little uh, tropical icon there. What we have is a subtropical storm, Nicole. It will interact with a cold front Friday into Saturday, so it looks like it's going to bring us some pretty heavy rain. That's what we are prepping for. So we start the week with sunny temperature, sunny conditions, temps that feel like June. Then we have a big cool down. Then we're expecting big time rain for Veterans Day into Saturday. So get it all ready. Yeah, it's going to be a week of everything. A little bit of everything. So much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elise.